Yo, it's another beautiful day to learn something new. Now, nyotako ikipotea, una irudisha ngaji. Hii ni topic moja nime discuss sana. Nimefanya so many videos about this topic. But kuna watu, bado analemewa. You know, I don't know shida iko wapi. Maybe uja watch zile videos yote nimefanya. Ama, iu process yote uja yelewa vizuri. Ama sijui, umeanza, uka kwa makatikati, ujui what you're supposed to do. So for that reason, I will do this video. Ntaita, there are three faces za kurudisha nyota. Na ile kutu nda kufundisha kwa hii video ni, nda kufundisha kutoka step ya kwanza, mbaka step ya musho. So, hata kama ujai watch video yangu ingine, hii itakuwa kuambia kila kitu enye unaitaji kujua kurudisha nyota yako. Kama umekuwa mamali, itakusaidia kujua umekuwa mawapi. Kama indo video yangu ya kwanza unaona, itakusaidia kujua penye uko, penye umekuwa Penye unafaa kufanya, penye unafaa kwenda, kitu penye unafaa kufanya ukifika hapo, mpaka ile time, nyota yako itarudi ama utafika ile level lenye unataka. So, this might be the only video you need to watch kujua vile unafaa kurudisha nyota. So, pay close attention and make sure you watch to the end. So, now, the first step ya kurudisha nyota, I've always told you, inaitua awareness. Awareness Ikona vitu mbili, ikona self-discovery na ikona self-awareness. This means ujielewe kwanza we ni nani. Ok? Nyota yako ni gani. Unafaa kuifanyisha kazi gani. Na hapo ndiyo tunaongelanga what we call the four T's. If this is the first time watching my videos na ujui four T's ni nini, nita link yo video inaongelea four T's hapa chini because this is a topic I've covered extensively. But for summary, Four T's, T ya kwanza tunasemanga, understand or know thy past. Lazimu ujuu umetoka wapi. Chalu drama zako, generational cases zako, unadil nazo ni gani. Experiences ni umepitia kwa life yako, blockages gani zimeongeza kwa life yako. How does your past affect where you are today? Ukisha elewa past yako and you make peace with your uh, past and you fix things from your past that you need to fix utakuwa umekamilisha the first T. Hii na kusaidia anga kuka, kubreak cycles zile zote zineza kwa kwa life yako. Kama unapatanga kwa familia yenyu, watu wanasomanga lakini hakuna mtu usaidika ama hakuna mtu pata kazi ya maana. Ama unapata kwa familia yenyu, watu wote wenda kwa levi. Ama unapata kwa familia yenyu, hakuna msicha na uolewa. Like kuna hizo mavitu zina kwa ngazi mefota na kwa mafamilia. Kuna ma generational cases, kuna childhood trauma. Although I like calling childhood trauma generational cases. Why? Because isn't it vitu? Si wo lijitaftia. Isn't it vitu? They were passed down to you. Okay? It didn't start with you, but it can end with you. So the past, most of the time, ni vitu ziliku hapenia, ama vitu zenyo lifanya, knowingly or unknowingly, na zina kwa effect mbaka leo. So once you're done understanding your past, and you fix it, Unakuja kwa T number 2 inye tunasemanga ni thyself. We ni nani? Unataka nini kwa hii life? What are your values? What are your principles? What are your desires? Huh? What's, 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 what's your philosophy? Hizi vitu zote unapa unaelewa. Okay? After ume understand past yako na umejielewa we ni nani, unaenda kwa T number 3 which tunasemanga ni thy purpose. Thy purpose ni purpose yako. What are you doing in this world? How are you? How, what's your contribution to humanity and the universe? Kama ujui purpose yako, utaishi tu kuzunguka tu pali pamoja. Hakuna kitu ya mano utaifanya kwa hii life. Kazi yako itakuanga tu kuhangaika, kulipa rent, kukula, kukunywa, bus. Suri naishi hapo. Na kama una purpose, ama kama uwelei purpose yako, hapo ndo unajifanya ngo meanza kuingile vitu zingine. Unanza kuingile ulevi, unanza kuingile usherati because there is a void inside you enye unajaribu kufill na hizi vitu zingine uh, where there is no purpose we try to fill it with pleasure so you've, you've replaced purpose with pleasure and that's how unajipata pali pa baya zaidi so T number 4 tunasemanga ni ni thy path ni nini unafaa kukifanya kwa hii dunia ni path gani unafaa kutumia ikupeleke kwa destiny yako because hiyo ndo ile path itakufungulia njia zako zote hiyo ndo ile path utakutana na ma destiny connectors wako wote and anybody else God purposed to help you in this life. 
So ukisha kuwa na hiyo awareness, self discovery, self awareness, ukisha complete stage number one, utakuwa umejua we ni nani? Purpose yako ni gani? Nyota yako ni gani? Blockages zenye una deal nazo ni gani kwa hii maisha? Ni vitu gani zinafanya usiendelee? You know, like what are those demons holding you back? Once umemalizana na step 1 ama phase 1, unaingia phase 2. Phase 2 tunaita uh, healing. Okay? Kuna watu wanaita deliverance, kuna wengine wanaita redemption. Let's just stick to healing. Kwa phase 1 tumesema unajua blockages zako ni gani, eh, past yako ni vitu ni experiences gani imeleta mbaya mbaya kwa life yako kama wala we understand uh, kwa yako hizo vitu zote ndizo unafaa ku heal what are your blockages fear low self esteem anger when ni mtu unakuanga jealous sana when ni mtu unakuanga unasikia anga watu wengine wivu sana you somebody who is very quick to anger when ni mtu ku procrastinate vitu sana unasema anga utafanya kitu unaipostpone unaipostpone mpaka unakosa kufanya when ni mtu unaga motivation Eh, when you mtu una struggle na addictions, kunyonga, beer, bangi, drugs, whatever addiction it is that you're going through. Hizi vitu zote ni blockages. Na tulisha kuambia blockages zo kulimit kufika destiny yako. So nyota yako aita waishine as long as uko na blockages kwa life yako. So kwa hii face ya healing, hapo ndo unafaa kuclear hizi blockages zote. We clear blockages through healing. Why do we need to clear blockages? Because blockages limit us. They block us from getting to where we want to go. So that's why blockages must go. And that's when patanga sometimes. Eh, umendo umeombewa. But vitu zina change too for some time. And then zina kuambaya hata zaidi hata kuliko venye zilikuwa. Ama wale wenye unendaga kwa ganga. Unapata leo umenda kwa mganga wa wa tiba asili anakupatia madawa na kwambia ndio organize kila kitu tutakuwa poa mwingine unaenda kwa mganga wa majini anakupatia majini sijui zitakusaidia kufanya nini mwingine anaenda kwa mganga wa mababu anakwambia mababu amesema ufanye abcd mwingine ndio unafanya hizo vitu unapata life yako wanga i change wanga ina changing time kidogo alafu things go back to where they are kuna hata watu wengine mtu anakujanga anakwambia mimi boni sitaki story mingi mimi nataka tu nisaidie maybe kupata passport Maybe kupata job, maybe kupata bwana, maybe unataka bwana yangu arudi, maybe unataka biashara yako eh ma customer alikuwa amepotea biashara yako ilikuwa inaanguka, unataka tu nikusaidie tu biashara irudi. Na bila kuja nafanya mambo yangu, biashara yako inarudi poa, unapata visa yako, bwana yako anarudi, ile kitu yenyewe ulikuwa unataka ifanyike ina happen. But after a very short time una realize ume go back to the same same problem. Kwa nini we did not clear the blockages that existed? in your life. So hizo blockages kuna ni kama zinakuanga zimekuweka kwa ka box fulani au tai toka nje yako ka box as long as hizo blockages bado uko nazo. So until the day you clear those blockages ndio utaenda level nyingine kutoka nyenye huko. But as long as you have blockages, blockages zitakuwa kwa hiyo level no matter how many times umesaidiwa kurudisha nyota as long as kuna blockages kwa life yako kuna level out of it. So lazima break hizo uh, blockages ndio uweze kwenda kwa the next level. In the next level utapatana na blockages zingine, uzi break, uende kwa the next level. So hiyo ndo tunaitanga healing. So some people take shortcuts with healing. Hapo ndo unasikia ngao oh, umeenda kuomba sijui wapi katoloni, sijui wapi. Unaenda huko na fast siku mbili tatu. Kidogo kidogo vitu zinakaanika zinarudi poa alafu unarudi chini. Hivyo ndo unapata watu wameenda sijui pastor mgani ndio anaombeanga watu vizuri. For some days, vitu zinakani kama ziko poa, and then you go back to the same same uh, problem. Wengine unaenda kwa waganga, wengine unaenda kutafuta solution in so many places. Not understanding that as long as you have blockages in your life, you will never go past that level. Hata vitu zikikuwa poa, hata yu problem yako ikisolviwa, itakuwa for a short period of time, alafu, everything will go back to normal. Hata in fact, Sometimes vitu waribika kuliko hata venye zilikuwa mbeleni before you went to look for that solution that you went looking for. Ukiweza ku clear blockages zako. 
So umemaliza step 1 awareness umejielewa we ni nani papa yako path yako nini unafa, unajua chenye unafaa kufanya kwenye unafaa kienda. Alafu ume clear blockages zako zote sasa uko sawa you are light. So the next level unaenda unaenda phase 3. Phase 3 tunaita eh, growth and elevation. Growth ni kumaanisha sasa unaanza ku grow. Kumbuka ile limit ilikuwa na blockages imetolewa. So now for this uh, new level, for this new phase, sasa ni ku grow. Ku grow na ku elevate. Why? Because usipo grow uta stagnate. Hata unapatanga yes, mambo zako zimefunguka, but after some time unafika mali unasikia ni kama hakuna kitu na move kwa life yako. Mtu unasikia ngamtu anza kusema, "Oh, I'm struggling with the spirit of stagnation." Nimekuwa kwa hii jobs party promotion. Biashara yangu ni kama ilifika mali. Yes, wanga inajilipa, inalipa wafanyikazi, na bakisha ka profit kadogo, but hakuna growth. Place yote hakuna growth, kuna kuanga na stagnation. Na stagnation ikika sana inakuwa retrogression. Retrogression ni kurudi nyuma. Badala wende mbele, unarudi nyuma. Unasia ni kama umekoroge wapo. So nothing moves. Yani umefika tu mali, tu ka level, tu yani au endagi juu endagi chini na kuangatua hapo and stagnation is very uh, dangerous because again itakulit tu vitu kama boredom itaanza ku feel ni kama umechoka uanze ku engage kwa vitu zingine zenye zitakuweka kwa mashida zaidi hapo ndo unasikia ngamtu ameanza kukunywa ameanza kutafutilia addictions zingine ameanza kuja movio vio ameanza ku kwa mtu akona usharati mingi unaanza kuboeka hata chachu wendi you don't even work on yourself you don't even work on, on your spiritual growth Tu umefika level ya stagnation unakosa growth. But ukiwa na growth unapatanga, you are always going up, you are always going up, you are always moving forward. So there is always something new for you to do. There is always another level for you to get to. So mind yako inakuanga occupied saa zote. And the more you grow, pia vitu zingine kwa life yako zina grow. Knowledge yako ina grow, wisdom ina grow, experience ina grow, finances zina grow, network zako zina grow. Opportunities zako zina grow. Na hapo ndo tunasema sasa nyota yako ina glow. Like ina shine. So lazima tuanze kutoka pale chini tukuje mbaka hapa. Kuna watu wanga wanaruka anasema ah mi staki kujielewa, mi staki kutoa blockages, mi nataka tu growth. Mambia ni sawa. E mi nataka ni kipiga hii deal pesa itoke. Mi nakuja na fanya mambo yangu na... Kusaidia, pesa hako inatoka. Yo dili ulikuwa ataka kupiga, inaingiana. Yo job ulikuwa unataka kupata, unapata. Uo de mama uo buwana ulikuwa unatafta, anakam. But sasa akikuja, unapata au jielewi, na blockage zako bado ziko. So, ile growth, unakuwa awezi handle. Because au ja build capacity ya kuhandle ile growth. So unapata ile pesa umepata tena inakulemea. Ama ile pet, ama ile mali umetengeneza hiyo ndio ile mali inakukula. Uko na pesa lakini ujui pesa zako zinaendanga wapi. Yes umeolewa lakini unanga furaha kwa hiyo ndoa. Yes uko na biashara inafanya poa but haonangi growth. Then after some time kila kitu tena collapse. Kwa sababu ile skip phase 1 na phase 2, baruka phase 3. Now, easy phases it's it's very easy. Ni kitu unaweza fanya within a very short time. Unaweza ji sacrifice wiki mbili, mwezi moja, miezi tatu, six months na kila kitu rudi poa. It only feels like it's a lot of work because sa hizi nikifanya hii video, I'm not talking to one person in particular. Sa hii ni video nafanya na jueta consume yona watu wengi. But if you come for a private session, it's just me and you tunaongea. So tunaangalia wewe penye uko. Nini tunafaa kufanya, tunafaa tutoe nini, tuongeze nini, tufanya nini, utoke hapo wende pale. It moves quickly when it's just me and you focusing. But sasa lazima nifanya video kama hizi ndio. Kama una taka kujifanya hizi vitu bila mimi, unajua penye uko, chenye unafaa kufanya na what you're supposed to do at every phase. But inaitajitu sacrifice kidogo na patience kidogo and everything will go smoothly. Sia di ni kitu kubwa. Nivi... <laughs> Ni vile tu lazima sasa ni kuexplain ye sana juu pia wale watu watawatch hii video ni watu different kuna watu wanaelewa vitu haraka kuna mtu wa understand haraka so lazima ni jaribu ku balance hivyo but usisikie ati ni faces mingi ufikirie ati ni kazi mingi hapana kuangalia kila kitu is something that will take you maybe one day kujua ni nini una change 
blockages unafaa ku cancel aji kuna blockages una cancel instantly kuna blockages zingine zina take time kushinda zingine mm. so hapo una move to the next level eh, unaenda growth growth nayo unaanza hapa una grow back hapa hivi hivi you are able to monitor these things and because now you know what you are doing it even becomes exciting and as you go from stage one, from phase 1 to phase 2 to phase 3 kuna to growth unaona una along the way so una feel kuna growth au au feel ku give up but ukikatu kwa phase moja uone hakuna growth una feel ku give up ama ukifanya kitu alafu after some time urudi penye ulikuwa unaanza kuona ni kama umerogwa ama una nyota so una give up nyota yako inapotea kabisa so kama unafikiria kurudisha nyota you just know it will take you three phases phases ya kwanza tumesema ni awareness hii lazima ujielewe ni nani understand your 40s Number two, tukasema healing. Whatever blockages are in your life, you have to heal those blockages. You have to break whatever it is that is holding you back. Is of barriers, you have to break them. Now lastly, tukasema, you have to grow and elevate. Uskubali kubaki level moja. Kuzu ukibaki level moja, nyota ako ita shine. Na nyota ako ispo shine, utasikia ku give up. Na uki give up, utapoteza nyota ako kabisa. So kama uko na swali yoyote unaweza niuliza hapo kwa comments na kama unaweza taka ku book private session namba yangu iko hapo hivyo kwa screen thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video peace